welcome everybody. We'll kill some of this Euro beat, although it's fun. <laughs> it's the music from the PlayStation version of the game. How's everybody doing tonight? This should be fun. I'm, I was excited to um, pick this back up after I did my video on it. And uh, it's been a little longer than I wanted it to be originally, but this I have so much trouble getting this game to work, and I'm really hopeful tonight that it that it does work the uh, the whole time. But we're gonna play Sports Car GT tonight. More of a relaxed thing. I've only been streaming lately, doing the IndyCar races, and <clears throat> be nice to do something that's a little less stressful tonight. And I want to pick up the career that I was doing back um, in my in my last video and continue on and uh, see how. I don't know, see how things go. But I'm gonna leave the music going for now. Low in the background. Anybody, let me know if that gets annoying. I feel like it'll be better than silence. Um, all right, so let me get in the game here. But Sports Car GT, I saw a lot of folks in the chat talking about, um, you know, this was the, their first game that they really played. And, um,. Yeah, I think it was an early game for for most everybody for you know GT racing GT racing sim racing right now is probably the most popular type right but this really came about long before um, You know other games were letting you do this sports cars were always kind of an a mod or an add-in to games But this was one of the first serious sports car games. I think that's why everybody remembers it finally, but Pioneered the G motor one engine, which was still You know the same core engine that is used all the way through uh, The GTR games and all the EA formula one games and through uh, R factor and R factor 2 it's evolved a ton But it's the the beginnings of that whole game structure. So yeah, I think it came out in 1998, right? And so it's a it's a good one Definitely a good one but we'll pick up back to the career mode. Let me know how everything sounds and everything. This game's really hard to stream because I can't see anything else. It has to, I could not get it to work in a windowed mode. So it looks like you're, you're all seeing the right thing, but I can't make sure it goes smoothly. All right, but we'll continue the career mode. And so this was what happened last time out. I got a Porsche, Porsche 911. We raced in the GTQ series. We did three races. Um, I did not do well. <laughs> I got five points total throughout the little season. Uh, and so I finished fifth overall. We had the two Dan's, Dan, Dan Marvin, Dan Marvin finishing one, two. Um, and I finished back in fifth. So hopefully I can do a little bit better than that. Maldonado there at the, at the end. Uh, but we got to do some, some modifications and things. Um, and this is why I wanted to come back to this because we can buy cars and parts and all type of stuff. Uh, so I guess first real decision, I don't think I can buy, because I could sell my, my vehicle, right? <clears throat> I could sell my beautiful Speed Vision Porsche 911 for 60 thou, but uh, I only have 16 in the bank and to buy anything in the GT3 level is quite a lot more. So I don't think, uh, I don't think we're gonna be progressing up to the next level. Oh, Mobux555, thanks. I've learned so much about motorsports from you. Well, thanks. I hope uh, hope I can share what little I know <laughs> with with everybody. But happy you uh, happy I've taught you at least something. Yeah, and this is based off the IMSA GT series. I think I misset it in the original video I did of the said head. You're definitely a sports car fan, I can tell. But um, in the original video I did of this, I think I said it was ALMS, but it's it was the IMSA GT series, which is right after they split, basically, and created the two separate uh, two separate series. But um, this one covers more closely what ended up becoming Grand Am, right, for a while, and thankfully it's all back together. All everything's right in the world, at least for the moment. But okay, so I guess I got to do a new season. I guess we can look at vehicle parts real quick. So I I got anti-lock brakes for some reason. I think that might have come with the car. I'm not too sure. Um, the turbocharger, so to upgrade that, I'd need 45,000 credits. Gotcha, American Le Mans series was the next season. This is, I was talking to a few people on my Discord last night. This era of sports car racing was a little bit before I got interested in it. So I think around 2005, 2006 is, um, 
is when I started really following sports car racing. But love to see old Brazilian sports cars. Yeah, I gotta dive into the Brazilian content. It's overlooked for sure. Uh, but I know a lot of that stuff's really good. <laughs> I can get level one tires here. I don't know, should I get the level one tires? Maybe that'll be good. Uh, I know Automobilista 2 just came out with uh, a partner car for the 911 RSR that they had released. And I want to check out those. A Corvette, I think. Stingray. Yeah, there's some some of these races from this era are on, on YouTube. But yeah, there's it's a little bit difficult to find them. All right, so it looks like I can get one upgrade. So I'm interested in, in any thoughts on what upgrade I should get. I could get an air intake for my... Uh, for my Porsche 911. How would that work with the engine in the back? Would it be like a scoop on the roof? I'm not sure. <laughs> aerodynamic work. I like the way that that's phrased. Just do a little aerodynamic work on the car. Yeah, the Brazilian tracks are awesome. I think, um, I think they have uh, some of the coolest tracks in Brazil. Tires, yeah, we probably should get the level one tire. Tires level one. All right, I'm going to do that. It's going to increase our grip, braking, cornering, acceleration. So hopefully that is good. All right, that's pretty much all my money. So that's all we're doing. Um, all right, so I can start a new season. Ooh, Cole. Thank you. Hey, uh, new to the stream and just recently gotten to watching your track history videos. Really good stuff and love to see more. Thanks. Yeah, I got more coming of that. Doing something a little bit different tonight, but hopefully... Uh, Definitely more track history soon. I got a few Assetto Corsa things lined up to do more history stuff. But I appreciate it very much. Thank you. All right, so we'll do a new season. Um, I guess I got to do... <laughs> why does it even let me select GT3? I can't... I don't have a vehicle for it. So do GT2. We'll do... I'm going to stick with the low race length because I want to try to crank through some of this. I'm going to do max difficulty, though. That's what I did in the first one. So hopefully... It goes well, we'll do max opponents. I'm a little scared of this, so I was having all types of issues getting this game running earlier today, and I think I've sorted it all out. Um, but we never know, so <laughs> hopefully this all goes well, but we'll start a new season. Okay, yep. All right, so we got 16 drivers here. Um, and we'll go to the schedule. So we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be the same as last time through, but this time, uh, hopefully I can do a little bit better. Hopefully I can do a little bit better this time. I'll take a quick look at the garage because I did not look at this at all. Do, should I go for the soft tires? Try to maximize my grip? We can try soft tires on this first race. It's short race, so it shouldn't wear them out. Aerodynamic stuff. Wow, you can get really deep in all this. But this is why folks like loved this game at the time. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it at full fuel because I, I almost ran out of, or I did run out of fuel in the final race of the the last time I did this. All right, career. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna uh, do our first race here at Chatham. And um, I'm going to do a quick practice just to make sure everything's working well. I'm trying to remember how all these menus work. And thanks everybody for joining tonight. Kind of on a whim decided to do this. All right, we're in the pit lane. I'm going to leave my tires and everything. And we'll uh, exit out. Oh, that's right. It drives you down the pit lane. So <laughs> I don't have to worry about navigating down the pits myself. gonna be hard for me to see chat tonight a bit too just because of uh i can't have everything on one screen which is a pain uh rides the apron so good come out onto the track so this track's awesome i feel like i drove this one the most because i had no idea what i was doing i mean you gotta remember in 1998 when we got this game you know this was the first time we ever had cars that moved anything like visually like this i think I guess prior to this, I would have been playing IndyCar Racing 2. And uh, as good as that game is, as good as that sim is, um, and I don't really care about the difference between sim and game, but I know some folks do, but as good as IndyCar Racing 2 is, the visual movement in that uh, is really lacking, you know, compared to something like this. So 
Yeah, it is very smooth. There's very few bumps, if any bumps, on any track. What's cool, if you're really into the into the stuff about these G Motor games and do a lot of modding and stuff, if you poke through the files of Sports Car GT, it, it all kind of looks like the same file structures as as R Factor and GTR2 and stuff. It's just missing elements and things, but it's the same core game engine, which is very cool. Yeah, this came out the same year as Grand Prix Legends, um, and I. I I guess I, I would have played Grand Prix Legends first because I got that like literally when it came out. But I, I had no wheel back then, <laughs> which was the tricky thing. I didn't get a wheel for a few years. So I was using keyboard at first and joysticks. I think I played this with the keyboard too. So it's just totally different now. I was able to get my Fanatec working with this. So I'm... Uh... Oh. <laughs> And that's me looking at the chip. Uh, I was able to get my Fanatec working with this. So last time I had to use the G27, but I did figure out using the uh, Universal Joystick Remapper how to get this this to work. All right, so th this is this is working out okay. I would like to do one lap without going into the gravel before I race. Stacked field of cars in the pit lane. I always liked the semi-oval layout. <laughs> no FF, no Danny, no uh, no force feedback. Oh, I tapped the wall, little wall kiss. No force feedback on the keyboard back in the day. This is all flat if you get it right. Oh no, that doesn't bode well. Gotta get out of the thick smoke. I was doing a. Uh, test race earlier and when cars spin out the smoke is so thick you can't see anything which is kind of cool because I feel like a lot of times in games smoke is pretty realistic and not impossible to see through unless you're racing like Daytona or something but yeah you cannot see through the smoke in this at all yeah modding was really the thing to do in, in this and still uh, so if you search for sports car GT patches online it brings you to a website that i think has been around well i know it's for a fact it's been around since the 90s um that's kind of like the the home of everything for this oh no my god why can't i get through that corner i gotta practice it one more time we gotta win the championship this time if i have hopes of moving up getting out of the rookie leagues but um, that website's got a ton of tracks and, and mods and cars. I mean, I, it would be fun to, to poke through some of it because there's... Um, I never knew that Virtua, Virtual LM, the, the, the folks that made uh, Sebring and Lama and Mid-Ohio and everything. I remember them for R-Factor. I think they made them for GTR2 as well. But they released car mods for Sports Car GT back in the day. And they're they're hosted on that site, so I could still grab them. Oh my gosh, almost spinning the car again, but I saved it that time. Got that Porsche oversteer. Yeah, the weight shift slide. It does drive a little bit like a boat. Uh, it rocks back and forth. I should mention too, I got my sequential uh, TH8A Thrustmaster shifter going. Porsche almost took me out coming out of the pits. Um, so I've actually got a, a sequential shifter hooked up. We're doing the real full sim mode tonight. So we can kind of coast through this, just a lift of the throttle. Down a third gear. That was a little bit better that time. Catch this GTS car, or GT, what is that? GTQ. Is GTQ actually a real class? Because I think it was GT and GTS back in the day. I don't know if the West Brothers had any involvement with this. I think, I mean, I know that they were working with an early version of what ended up becoming, um, oh, what was that game called that was released? Total Immersion Racing. But this is a completely separate game developed by ISI, Image Space Incorporated. Kind of a precursor to all their F1 games and R-Factor and all that. <laughs> oh my gosh, gets so loose there. Okay, 
I'm gonna stop wasting time in the practice here or else we'll never get anything done. Yeah, World Sports Cars is what Total Immersion, immersion Racing was supposed to be originally. All right, so we'll exit the race and be able to switch to qualifying, I hope. So we'll go do qualifying just because I want to make sure I start up front. Yeah, the snap over steer is a little frightening. GTQ is fictional. Okay, IMSA had GTS 1, GTS 2, GTS 3, which became GT 1, 2, 3. It's all confusing. That's one of the unfortunate parts about um, sports car. Oh, and I just realized my... I'll fix that after. The Wheeler app is not above the game, but I'll fix that after I do some qualifying here. Yeah, I do actually want to take a look at Total Immersion Racing because I did get it installed when I did my uh, kind of deeper look for Racing Legends. The video I did there. So I installed Total Immersion Racing just to get a few clips of it. But I uh, haven't really tried it out too much. All right, so I got to try to... I think it's just a two-lap qualifying, right? I think I gotta do third gear there or else it just bogs down so much. <laughs> we got the softest suspension in the world on this thing. All right, green flag. I got two laps. Let's see if I can put it all together. Just hug that line. This is the oval skills coming into play. Got that left front wheel firmly on the line. Ooh, sleepy time. Hasty beverage funds. Thank you so much. Tried to shift up from fifth. I got so excited. Thank you very much for that. No beverages yet, but we'll see how well things go. Maybe we'll have to get into the beverages. No, not super well through the twisty stuff this time, but not the worst lap I've done yet. Salary man. Racing is life. Indeed it is. Thank you so much, man. Congrats on your iRacing update, by the way. All right, one lap remaining. I got a 44.08. No idea if that's good or not, but we'll see. We'll see if I'm going to be a dog this season or if I can actually win the championship. Oh, coming over the top of the hill. Thread the needle. Oh, got it down to third, but I uh, pretty much ruined the tires. Oh, it's bogging down. That was better for a minute, but I think I might have lost all of it staying in fourth gear up the hill. All right, we'll come to the line, though. Is this one going to be better? Uh, I don't think it was. I think the first lap was better. I should have went back down to third there. Uh, all right, so 44.08. Oh, I'm fourth. So my name in this is Jacob William. So I'm in fourth. Um, okay, well, it's not the worst. I've got two BMW M3s and a Porsche 911 in front of me. All right. There's the beautiful 32 Porsche. Hold on, is it gonna switch? There we go, I have to hit exit. <laughs> All right, so let me see if I can fix this um, fix this overlay real quick. Since that's kind of fun to see, right? Okay, oh, you're still awake. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, I could have done better there, but happy birthday, KO. All right, well, let me get this showing again. <clears throat> All right, so we'll do the race here at Chatham. It's a 10 minute race, uh, and I will be disappointed probably with anything other than a win. <laughs> so hopefully I can do that. But we'll be starting in fourth position, the human control here. Starting in fourth, looks like the two... Oh, we got two Matthew Cohens this season. It's surprising that they didn't even put enough drivers to pad out the default series, but... 
Is it Chatham or Chatham? Oh, all you Europeans are still awake. Well, welcome to the evening time in the United States, East Coast. All right, so we're gonna go do the race. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, uh-oh. All right, lights are lighting. Green, oh man. I got overtaken, such a bad start. I gotta figure out the starts. I had a problem with that last time as well. We'll come down to the first corner, losing pretty much all of my gains. Oh, cars in front, side by side. Just smack the back of that M3 up to fifth gear. I can't even hear my own engine to know when to shift. I'll squeeze it right to the wall. All right, gain back a few of these spots at least. Head down the hill. I think I'm in sixth now, fifth. Let's try to just play it nice and easy. I should have enough time to just pass these few cars and then hopefully run away from them. I feel like this race last time I won pretty easily and then the rest of them went poorly, so let's see if I can do better this time. All right, but slipstreaming here with a 911. Ah, uh, this track's awesome. Let me maybe look if this track exists for any of the newer sims. It could be a fun one to do an online race with. <laughs> yeah, hey, the fact that the game had reflections at all was so amazing in 1998. You probably couldn't run them most of us didn't have the computer to be able to do it. You gotta remember that too. All these games that I've been going through, I'm running them on like max graphics and you hardly ever could do that back in the day. I keep getting comments on some of these videos where people are excited to see how good the game looks, you know, in, in context, but you don't, you kind of forget what it had to look like on your system. New course record, all right. This M3's got a lot of power on the straights, but he's taking the wrong line through the corner. All right, come over the top of the hill. Should be quicker down here. Just gotta not run into the back of him. Sweep around the outside, down a third gear, hug it on the inside. I think we're side by side. I can't see him at all. Run to the top of the rev range. Oh, he's stuck there the whole time. It's good AI. All right, but got in front of him. I think I remarked about that in the first video too. I feel like the AI in Sports Car GT is, it's almost as good as it is in any of the G Motor games. It's almost like they never really improved it. Oh, he's gonna come on me. I'll block the inside. I was able to hold him off there. The charge of the M3. If I can hold him off till we get down to this road section here, I should be able to extend the lead. we go just ride it on through I think I should keep it in fourth there I gotta redo the gearing the gearing is no good for this track all right so extend the lead so just gonna put in seven more minutes of clean laps and we'll have our first win the curbs ever so lightly miss the apex it's the best line to take head back up the hill fourth gear now the cool thing you know we're not going to see it probably in any of the races i'll do tonight but this game does have driver swaps implemented it's got day to night cycles it's got rain and weather conditions there's a lot of features in it. Of course, they're all, you know, implemented the way they were then, but it's uh, it's all this stuff that games nowadays don't get at all just because they, they really try to make features now that are perfect. I don't know, I don't know what's better, but it's cool that all that stuff's included here. It's a very complete game. Right out to the curb there. Am I faster than Quali? Well, that, you know, you get some practice laps in. I think I still have the, the soft tires on, right? So hopefully they don't go away. 
See, my fuel is at 60. I gotta keep an eye on that, because I ran out of fuel one of the races last time. But we'll try to win this one. Because who knows what's gonna happen the next two races. There we go, that's the line. That's not the line. <laughs> we got a notification, race midpoint, so you know. Oh, Neil, you've never heard of a sports car GT. This is, I was talking at the beginning of the stream, but this is really one of the first sports car sims ever existed. 1998. Very, very classic game. Remembered very well for the modding community as any track, any car that you'd want pretty much came out for this. But we're playing the stock career tonight. Continuation, but really kind of starting over because <laughs> I have a slightly better Porsche 911 this time than I did during the video I made of this. But otherwise, we're running the same three tracks to start. Hopefully can win all three races, get enough money to upgrade and move on with our lives. across the line another record 43 47 i'm just tearing the lap time down got three minutes a little over three minutes to go it's cool they didn't just cheap out and do you know lap races too for all of them true sports car racing runs by the clock Ooh, slide the tires there Yeah, I mean, the uh, the game does look pretty good for a 1998 game. I like the Horizon a lot. Oh, and I can see two cars up there. Are those the Panos? Might lap them. Really put my stamp on it here. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty wild that uh, GTR, which was really the next sports car sim gtr didn't come out well i was much better that time i should get better at this as the night goes so we'll see oh don't want to do that that's just absolutely kills your momentum you get a sinking pit right on the side of the track but yeah gtr didn't come out till 2005 that was really the next sports car sim that's why there were so many sports car mods. I just took a look at GT Racing 2002, which is really the precursor of GT, GTR and GTR2. All right, just give these guys a little time. No, no sense in ruining our race. Oh, and he hit me anyway. <laughs> Two identical cars here at the back, just as slow as one another. Rocket around the outside. There we go negotiating some passes yeah 40 percent fuel we should be fine on fuel this race i did try to get the force feedback working i couldn't get it working for this but also the force feedback's a little bit makes it a little more difficult so i'm not too upset about there being no force feedback but no force feedback in this today playing it old school style Catching another car. Is that a Mustang? Out in front. No, it's another Pinos. Yeah, it was one of the first Sims that had multi class. Uh, despite what you may think, this is single class racing. These are just some pretty slow cars at the back. Got one minute to go. Will I get the checkered flag, or will we have one more lap to do after this? We'll see. If I finish it, I might finish it before the time's up. All right, we should have enough fuel. Don't need to worry about that. Ah, was that perfect or what through there?
Hey, Steven, how you doing? I'm across the line. All right, white flag now. Got 16 seconds. And thankfully, you just have to do this one last lap, but dare I say gonna easily win this first race. See how many credits I get for this. Now, the question's gonna be, do I, do I hold off upgrading the car? I guess if I'm winning, I don't really need to upgrade the car, right? I would love to get to the GT3. Ooh, slide the car there. I'm down to the final corner. All right, come past the pit lane. See the checkered flag waving. There's no checkered flag, but come across the line. There we go. P1 first race. That was pretty easy. It wasn't too bad. First place. I like how you get a silver trophy. I guess that's pretty realistic to get a silver trophy. But Dan Marvin, oh, Dan Marvin, who won the championship in the last season, finished second. Matthew Cohen, one of the Matthew Cohens, finishes third. Jamie Tyndall, is Jamie Tyndall a real racing driver? That name seems really familiar. All right, so we'll take a look here at what we've got up next. Oh, ho, look at this. All right, so I, I got 7,000 credits as a base earnings. And I got 21,000 or almost 21,000 for difficulty. Wow. So playing on max difficulty really pays off. And then race length, I guess I could jack up the race length too, but um, 34, 35,000 credits. <laughs> um, so that's pretty good in the bank. 36. So my vehicle too, it's, it's going to sell for 70 right now. So I'm over 100,000 already. And uh, it looks like to get invested into the GT3 class, looks like 190 thou is our lowest end, which is the Saline Mustang. Um, or we could stick with Porsche and go with the 911 RSR. Ah, oh, look at these. I remember these cars from racing at Daytona. They're the, um, gosh, what's their name? Greg Stan. Yeah, I was wondering how many, how many of the drivers are real. Some BMWs, those are 235. Hey, isn't this the car that went for some crazy flips at uh at mid Ohio? It's the one that dug into the the ground, right? We got the 12, we've got oh look at that. There's some really good paint schemes on these cars. They definitely picked the right ones. Racers group, thank you, said head. You you know all this stuff. Um Oh yeah, you like the Monaco poster? It's a good one. All right, so enough looking at this. I'm not gonna buy anything for our, our Porsche because uh, we won the race, so. Um, but we'll take a look at our schedule. So we're gonna go to Sardian Park now. And what's interesting, if you remember, uh, I took a look at our factor recently and Sardian Heights is a track in that, so they have a little world here. <laughs> yeah, right, they don't even need to worry about the logos because the graphics are just kind of hiding them. But I'm gonna go out and do a few practicing laps just to make sure all is good with the car. But first race went pretty good. Yeah, Joey Hand, that's right. Joey Hand just like absolutely crazy stuff. That's a terrible accident, but luckily he got away with it. The AI is auto driving for me here. I was worried it was going to slam into the wall. Do you have to keep, so this is the thing I was, I was actually, should I admit this? Earlier today, I was looking to see if there was like a strategy guide for this game. And, oh gosh, luckily kept it off the wall there. I was looking online to see if there's a strategy guide for, for this. And I could only find a strategy guide for PlayStation. I totally was going to tell everybody that, that I was using a, a guide. <laughs> but we'll see. Hopefully I can do well in this race. And if not, we'll just upgrade. 
we'll upgrade the car and uh, that'll be it hopefully I won't have to do this championship again but you never know we'll do a couple practice laps here though just to make sure everything's working I did keep the Euro beat on and hopefully it's not too loud but it's kind of fun to race too the top of the hill wow really easy to uh, bottom the car out there it's a heck of a hill car is feeling pretty good though glued to the surface here I'm using left foot braking today in this I don't always do left foot braking I remember as well at the time when this came out, I didn't have a PlayStation and really wanted Gran Turismo. And it's a very different kind of game, especially looking back, but it kind of felt like the PC's Gran Turismo having this. Yeah, there are real life tracks. Uh, I saw a comment in the chat. Uh, we'll get to those, hopefully. There's a lot of good ones though. It's really all the main sports car tracks. So you got Sebring and Lime Rock, Laguna Seca, I think Moss Sports in here. Mo Sport, Moss Sport. Um, I don't remember what else, but yeah, there are definitely real tracks. Road Atlanta, of course, with Petit Le Mans. Around the inside of the Esperante. There we go. All right, car feels good. I think uh, I can go do a quality. I'm actually, I'm going to do one lap and go into the pits because I haven't really practiced doing what pit stops would be like. I don't think we'll need one in this race, but. Ooh. Porsche comes out of the pits right behind me. It's not fair. He's got to run on me. It's the same one that almost hit me at the last track, too. corner almost go out of control every time coming out uh, over the hill there long left-hander all right I'm gonna go into the pits I don't know if you can get a speeding penalty for going in too fast oh the AI can spin you out <laughs> and then run you into the wall a hundred times. Oh, I'm surprised it was able to three point turn like that. Okay, note to self, if you're gonna do a pit stop, make sure you go in at a good angle. <laughs> hey RJ, how you doing? All right, so we're leading the points. We're gonna go and do qualifying now. Car felt pretty good. Hopefully I can qualify near the front again. Yeah, coming in hot. See, uh, see how far up I can qualify. I'm gonna lower the fuel for qualifying. Pro strat. Oh, I can't. Is that like a thing? You can't lower it? That was a three-point turn. I mean, it backed into the wall, but other than that... All right, here we go. Yeah, you know, Adrian, you bring up a good point. I've got, I was checking out this in quick race mode and I have extra tracks that don't work. And I don't know why I have them, but I've got North Point, I've got IRP is in there. I don't know where the tracks came from. If it was, I think I, I used a patch on this when I installed it, but the tracks don't work. I have like a short version of Road Atlanta as well. I have no idea where they came from. Hopefully we don't run into any of that in the career here. It was awfully slow. All right, so we'll come to the line, start our two laps of qualifying. Just try to get in a banker here before I do anything crazy. Pretty 
fast there coming into the first corner. <laughs> Feels like I'm driving a Cadillac rather than a Porsche. Head up the hill then. Flat out the whole way. No problems. Come over the top of this hill. Get a lot of air. Flat out to the bottom. Slam on the brakes. <laughs> Going all right so far. Come up to the final little S section. Throw the car into the left hander. And a second gear through the right hander. Try to accelerate out as fast as I can. All right, that felt like an okay lap. Come across the line. All right, first lap. I have no idea where that's going to put me in the standings, but. It felt like a decent lap. See if I can push just a little bit more. I don't know if that is faster or not. Tried second gear through that chicane. Just used the curbs ever so slightly. Oh, I just touched the right side of the track there. Cut the track a little bit. Might have been quicker. left-hander ran a bit wide there we go uh, I don't know if this lap's gonna be quicker the first lap was a 55 3 4 take a look as I come to the line at 51 52 53 54 oh, about the same for both laps I think the first lap was a bit it's a bit better Yeah, if you want any of the Simbin Sims, they're all on, on Steam, and they're very cheap. So, I think uh, I would always go look at, like, GOG or Steam for games before you ever consider anything else, because those versions will often work pretty easily. All right, but I got the poll here. Oh, yeah, just, to, oh, my God, one thousandth of a second, or no, one, one hundredth of a second quicker it only goes to a hundredth so who knows how close it was but one hundredth quicker than mr dan marvin but we'll uh hopefully carry that into the race here the momentum okay so if i can do two wins in a row it's going to be hard for anybody to catch me yeah and on steam none of the star force stuff is there anymore so just get the steam versions um, all right, so we're gonna do the race. Hopefully I can uh, get away with this one I think <laughs> when I did this one on my video, I had quite a lot of incident. Hopefully get the start better this time uh, Slightly better still not super quick. There's no clutch, so I don't know what to do on the line We'll work away towards the first corner. So it's a 12-minute race. Oh my god, so deep oh, Getting passed by the whole field Touching the rear end of that BMW around the outside oh, onto the grass the grass really slows you down so definitely don't want to hit that head up the hill get around the Porsche so similar start to the last race if I didn't blow the first corner it would have gone a lot better but oh it's like a monster truck jump it feels a lot like the stadium super trucks coming over the top of the hill no no it's not a comment not an optimal start that might be an understatement we'll get it back though i'm pretty quick we'll dive up the inside here of one of the m3s oh that porsche hit me i could see him turning in but i went for it anyway don't want to get damage i remember there's damage in this so that m3 right on me from behind oh he hits me Trying to stick it out to the inside. All right, made that work. Pick up a lot of momentum there through the second part of the chicane, head up the hill on the inside of the 911. Oh, he's gonna turn into the apex. What's this guy doing? Rubbing fenders. It's like a NASCAR race. There we go. Whew. I guess Grand Am was kind of the NASCAR of the sports car world, so. But uh, elbows out here at Sardian. Oh, 
not trying to cut off that M3. Able to get around him. He's going to be all over me, though, as we come to the line. I'll take the inside. If you want to go around, you got to take the long way, buddy. Let him take the outside. Got a new course record that time somehow. Wow, he really hung it out there. Is he going to take the apex here? Able to stay on the outside. Oh, man, we did that whole thing side by side. But able to get him. Now hit up the hill. Set our sights on this last BMW up front. I have a feeling this is our friend Dan. We have to beat him because he finished second in the last race. So I don't know how I got that corner to work. There's a lot of weird grip in this, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun to drive. And honestly, that's good enough. I think um, I saw Sim Racing 604 Mike did a video on GTR2 the other day and he was just talking about how nice it feels to drive and at this point like all these sims are realistic enough that it's just kind of what whatever's most fun at some stage and this one is sure a lot of fun down a second gear through the chicane backfire there from the BMW in front all right I definitely have them on speed so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, make my move at a good time here, hopefully. Oh, no! No! Literally, as I'm saying that, I touched the one pixel of the grass to block this BMW from behind. <laughs> I so barely got on the grass there. It just pulled me right off the course. Okay, now I definitely need to uh, not make another mistake like that. Get this BMW behind me. the line he's still there hounding me yeah that was not good I was so cl close to not pushing it off I was just trying to run the track wide so I had a little extra speed up to fourth a little early it's still hard to hear my engine meant to adjust the sounds Almost spinning the car out there. No, I'm all over the place now. That was not good. It's like so close from going fast to throwing it all away. Just see him ahead there, but we're down to seven minutes, so we're almost halfway. So I have time. I just need to relax a little bit. <laughs> yeah. See my focus inside. Finish. My finish mantra. You're right, you're right. I gotta finish the race first. There's some smooth laps. I don't need to push quite as hard as I was. We're also coming up on some lap traffic, which might slow the leader down a little bit. The all is not lost. A little bit wide there. Finally pulled away from that group behind a bit. Way through the race now so chasing the leader down we're gonna be coming up on some lap traffic but I'm definitely I'm definitely pulling him in I just gotta keep doing this what I'm doing nice laps nothing too crazy over the top of the hill oh I try not to get the car too upset there it's easy to do no I'm gonna throw it wide ah, I thought it was slow enough The, the grass the grass is like quicksand or something. I don't know what they installed here at Sardian, but should have put that on the side of Eau Rouge. We'd have no issues. Oh, 
up the hill here. We got electronic arts banners on the side of the track. This is back when EA was still a good company. There was a time, it's, it's tough to imagine now, there was a time when you saw EA Sports on the box in the store and you thought, oh, that must be a good game. <laughs> That time, that time was until like 2003 or 4 when things started to go sideways. But definitely back when this was a game, seeing EA on the box was a was a bonus. You know, it's funny about the overlays, especially the one on the bottom, is it's still the same thing that was in. Oh, that's in R Factor 2 now. It's the same code. It's just been reskinned. So I'm like holding station with the leader. Anyway, I just gotta not put a wheel wrong anywhere. We only got four minutes left. We're not really catching the lapped cars anymore, it seems. Yeah, it's just you knew when you saw the big publisher that there was good amount of money put into the game, so you knew it was gonna be you know, it's gonna be a good game. All right, but I definitely gained on him that time, so we'll continue chasing the leader. Oh, a bunch of smoke in front. Oh my God, he can't see a thing. <laughs> Thank God it cleared up just in time. Trying to string it together. I think third is best for that opening chicane. Oh, just nipped it on the grass there, but luckily, luckily helped. Oh man, car all over the track, try to keep it on, come on. I think we're actually catching two identical BMWs here at the back. I'm gonna lose track of which one's the leader. Just gotta get them behind me, get them all behind me. Oh, right up the inside, oh, clank wheels, get in front of them though, make a pass for the lead here. Just two and a half minutes to go. I didn't expect to get him that easily. Block him absolutely on the front straightaway. Try to go around the long way. All right, able to get him there. <laughs> Playing chicken with the walls. Yeah. Now I just need to get around a few of these lapped cars, get a little bit of a gap between me and the leader. The second place now behind me. These two in front. Need to get around both of them before this right hander. Alright, just a Pano's in front, but able to get around those two. That'll keep the previous leader occupied for a minute. Just a minute and a half to go down to the first corner. This might seem like a minor feature today, but, or absolutely is a, is a minor feature, but the fact that the cars have brake lights and headlights at night, but the brake lights, it, it was, was really cool at the time. I remember that being like, oh my God, the lights light up. So just trying to keep it on the black stuff here. Oh, a lot of understeer. Getting down to low fuel, but we'll have just enough to finish this one. I think it's the next race that we're going to have to pit halfway through it, which will be fun. Low fuel warning. Across the line here. Last lap, white flag. Just got to put it one nice, clean, gentle lap together. And take a gentle lap with me. Carve up those corners in my Porsche here with tube framed Porsche as they all <laughs> as they definitely are.
Yeah, GTR 1 is a good game, but I mean, it's been superseded by GTR 2 in every way. And I would argue those two games are very similar, so I would probably go with GTR 2, but if you want to do it for the nostalgia factor, go for it. But come to the line. Ah, oh, two in a row. This one wasn't easy. Definitely was not as easy as the first one, but winning two races in a row, I think we're going to win the championship now. Another first place silver trophy. Ah, oh, this is great. Thanks everybody for coming to watch. Hopefully entertaining. It was a little in the middle of that one, a little uh, desperate, but got my stuff together and got to the end. Got to the end, all right. Yeah, so I just gotta, I mean, I wanna maximize points. If I can win the last round, <clears throat> that'll be, you know, that'll still be ideal, but um, another 35,000 credits to add to the bank. Yeah, I wanna get, try to get as much credits as possible so that we can buy a GT3 car and, uh, and move up a division. So definitely don't wanna just cut around, but we should, we should get the championship no matter what now. So 22 points in the lead. So I guess, I guess I don't have a sure win here, right? I am, I'm eight points in the lead and you win 11. So if I don't score points, <laughs> which could definitely happen, but if I don't score points and Dan Marvin wins, I could lose the championship still, so need to put on my best uh, best effort for North Point. Right, I'm going to go do a couple practice laps around North Point. I'm going to keep the car the same. I don't want to spend any credits. I got 72,000. The car is worth like 70,000. So hopefully uh, hopefully we can buy something. We're still going to be short, so I definitely have to get all the credits I can. No, I don't want to upgrade the tires. <laughs> Marco, I'm sorry you're spending a fortune, but I hope you're having fun. Um, now, I don't want to spend any credits if I, if I don't have to. We'll go do a couple practice laps here. I got to practice the pit in. Since we'll definitely need to pit in this one. This track's cool. It's a little bit faster of a circuit. It's going to be a 15 minute race around here, so a little longer as well. Remember, these are still the short distance races, so you can do some pretty long races in this. I think by default, the game only supports 16 cars at the same time, but I think there were some mods where you could increase that. This track's fast, but there's a lot of gravel next to it. Be careful with that. A lot of big curbs to head down the hill here. I'm trying to remember how this one goes. This, I'm not as familiar with this circuit as the other two. We'll come down. This is a pretty tight hairpin to the right. Yeah, that's right. There's bollards on the inside. There is force feedback in this game, but I don't. I don't have it on. I don't really like it in, in sports car GT. It doesn't feel good. It makes it harder, in my opinion. Do a couple more laps here. Just want to make sure I know where the course goes before we go qualify. Shut off that sound. <laughs> I don't know. I. Gran Turismo. The Gran Turismo I played the most was Gran Turismo 3. 
it would be fun to stream, but there's a lot of people that have streamed that. There's so many games to play. Might as well play something that nobody else has. All right, this feels pretty good. I'm going to practice a pit stop or a pit entry this time. Not to spin the car out this time. There we go. Much better than at Sardian. All right, so that feels pretty good. We'll have to, uh, hopefully can qualify well here. All right. So we'll get going for qualifying two laps. See if I can get it up front. I got the pole in the last race. I started, what was that? Fourth in the first one. Hopefully can do some of the same. Start this final event off on the right foot. Yeah, I, got, I was thinking about at some point doing something for live for speed, but I only played that. I played it for not very long. And because it's only online and there's no mods, you'd have to look at the modern version of it, right? It's still around, so wouldn't really be like looking at what it was like back in the day. Yeah, I don't know if you can go install an old version of Live for Speed. I don't think they let you do that. Nothing wrong with looking at the modern game, but and to look at the old ones. All right, we'll come out of the final corner and start the qualifying lap here. Try to get a banker in before I do anything too crazy. Head up the non S's. You can just straight line all this. Come to the top of the hill. Oh, what was I doing there? Terrible line through the first corner. the second corner there hogging down in fifth gear keep it in fourth make a mental note of that all right it's pretty slow lap i think it's just kind of wide on every corner but kept it out of the gravel so far so it won't be a slowest time come across line to complete the first lap 57 37 i don't think that's going to be good enough oh, a little too fast through there that time it stay it stayed on the road luckily oh, once again terrible line through the second corner and down the hill through the third turn a little bit better Right out to the edge of the track. All right, this is going to be a better lap, but it's still much below my potential. So, for a sec, over a second up though on the last lap, it's pretty good. Ooh, right to the bollards on the inside, right out to the curb on the outside. See how fast I am. Should definitely not be a last, but 55.40. Wow, I improved like two seconds on that. All right, so second, okay, starting on the front row, so not too bad, but right behind Dan Marvin. Dan's going to make this one difficult. I mean, if he wins and I finish second, that should be fine for the championship, right? But he's certainly going to make me sweat this one out, old Dan. Dan the man Marvin. All right, so... One race, 15 minutes. 
we're gonna have to pit during it and uh <clears throat> i think i need to finish in the top two if dan's gonna win to get the championship so hopefully this goes well but we'll see how it goes start the race Hopefully I can get a better start here. I've done so bad on all the starts. Red lights are up. Green, go. No, it's not good. It wasn't good. Trying to block a little bit. Got cars coming on either side. Oh, getting swallowed up for the field behind. Sketchy coming up the hill. That's a run wide or anything. Over, under, through the first corner. Terrible start again. I got to get the starts figured out. What am I doing wrong there? Shifting into first pretty quick, but there's no clutch to like keep it in first. Oh, right into the back of this Porsche. I get him coming down the hill here. Blocks the lane a little bit. To fifth gear. Where am I gonna go? Inside, outside. He's gonna take a whole track up. Coming to the final corner. Oh, he swings way out wide into the into the gravel there. Got him. Oh, broke himself. All right, up to third. Recovered a bit. All right, chasing the two leaders. We got Dan Marvin out front. Finally, better through the first corner. It's like in qualifying, I can't get the line at all, but in the race, oh yeah, no problem. A little bit wide there, but not too bad. Ooh, let's see if I can slide it up the inside of the Beamer. Let's clip the back end of him a little bit. Oh, a little more than a clip there. A little banging side by side. I don't really want to damage the car. See if I can force him into the same error as the Porsche. Come to the bottom of the hill. Up to the chicane. Or hairpin, really. Ooh, he went out wide a little bit, so it looks like I'm able to force them to go deep into the corner if I'm kind of behind him. All right, BMW's trying to catch up to me. Yeah, I have to make a pit stop in this race, so that's the one thing to consider. Oh my god, he's right in the mirror. I'm surprised he didn't hit me. But back up to second, so I think if I finish in second, I'll still win the championship, but I. I really want to win the race. Win all three races, can't be more dominant than that. Nice late apex there. Yeah, I'm, I'm quicker than him, so I just gotta play it cool, run a good race. Just at about 80% fuel, so if I pit, this is what we'll do. I'll pit with five minutes to go. That way I'll know how much fuel I need. No, I don't think it can be done without pitting. When I did the video of this, I ran out of fuel. I didn't even know pitting was a thing in the early career. I mean, maybe you can save a lot of fuel. I don't know, though. I doubt it. flame from the car in front the graphics the fidelity oh no 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 oh dan dan the man spun me out oh no that's no good that's gonna be tough to recover from i held on to third but ah oh, so much time there i'm gonna blame that one on dan all right got a porsche right behind me though coming to the final corner to take some kind of line <laughs> oh this is gonna be pretty difficult to catch up it's gonna be a lot like the last race cannot put a wheel wrong from here on out yeah i could pit and that's a good plan actually pit halfway so that i don't have bad tires at all do i change the tires in the pit stop is that gonna be gonna take too much time Just lighten them up at every bend oh dipped it on the grass there the gravel 
Should be able to get second back here, but Dan's gonna be gone. Got the good uh, Euro beat right now, though. If there ever was music that could help me catch up. All right, we got 10 minutes to go. We're at about 60% fuel. It's honestly very close then. I was at 100 at the start and that's a third of the race. I don't know, maybe I should stay out. I mean, I definitely didn't make this the last time I raced, so I don't know why I would now. I did run out on like the last lap though, last time. So, I don't know, what do I do? <laughs> do I pit? We'll get around the second place there to the inside though. Yeah, I think changing tires takes extra time and if I only have to do like one extra lap, it's not really a big deal. All right to the bollards on the inside. I don't think they slow your car down luckily. All right, we gotta keep our eyes open for Dan the man. He's long gone at this point. Yeah, I think I do need to pit for sure, but it's not far off. Oh, quite wide there. Making a mess of it. One thing that does frighten me is when we get to the real tracks, they're not exactly accurate. So it's almost like learning a brand new track, even if you know what the track is. I saw Dan for a split second there over the top of the hill. So he's not disappeared completely, but it's gonna be a struggle. Oh, there he is. You can just see him. I don't know if you'll be able to see him in the video, but he's Right, basically where the track is drawing in. He was right there. Yeah, I don't think I need tires. I think that takes extra time if I take tires, so I want to basically be in and out of the pits. Right to the curb. Definitely see a car. There's like 12 of this exact car in the race though, so <laughs> I might actually end up catching a lapper and thinking it's him. We're halfway through the race. Should I stop? Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now just to get it over with. All right, I don't, don't change the tires. Leave the tires. I'll just fill it up and uh, we'll leave the damage. Keep the wing the same. We're halfway through the race, so pit now, I'll just get it over with. Should be able to make it to the end. No issue. Oh no, I have to get done. Ah, oh, rookie mistake. Oh man, I lost maybe two, three seconds there because of that. Get back out on the track. I'm in eighth place now. My teammates coming up behind me. Lock him a bit. Probably didn't even need to take that much fuel either. Such a mess. Have I thrown it all away? Are we going to get it back? Think about points. I got to finish at least second, I think. So if Dan's going to win. Need to get back up to second place. These guys should all have to pit, I hope. Unless I'm getting the raw end of the deal. Up to fifth gear. all over each other. Oh, I'm trying to snake up the inside as they play footsie with each other there. All right, get out in front. Up to sixth now. Oh, quite wide there. Luckily, keeping it on the track. These corners, this track's more difficult than the other ones to get good lines. There's 
just long corners that have no, there's no braking markers or anything on this track. And a fourth gear will get through the hairpin. All right, so I'm in sixth, five minutes to go. These guys better start pitting right now or I'm gonna start getting really worried. What is it, only the top five gets points, right? Catching the cars in front, but there's no way, no way I would catch Dan Really sliding ahead to counter steer there. There's a very limited steering lock in this. It's 240 on the wheel, so you don't get a lot to correct the car with if you run into issues. Come on, go in the pits. Oh, I think one of the cars was as I dipped the wheel off. Yeah, we got a car in the pits, so they're gonna pit, thankfully. Oh, so slow there. That wasn't good. I lost a lot of time there, but I'm up to fifth now. One car pit. To keep my fingers crossed for the undercut here. He were there as I was catching him, right? See if I can put together good laps here for the end of the race. this 911 hopefully they go into the pit lane and I can just have clear track no they're staying out come on oh, let's go right under him oh side by side with this 911 gotta get for a slipstream here Get him through turn one. The inside of that 911. I love that paint scheme with the red wheels. <laughs> Almost losing the rear end there as well. To the bottom of the hill. Catch this Porsche. Come up the outside. Oh, it hits me. Luckily, it didn't spin out that time. Right. Up to third now. Starting to feel a little bit better about this, but still need at least second. I want to win. Only two minutes left in the race. We're really going to go down to the wire with this. Head up the S's. A little bit wide through the second turn come down the hill the track reminds me a little bit of road america i know it's not anything like it but long straightaways and 90 degree corners up and down hill all right they're not in the pits this time i don't know i don't know what happened we'll see Oh, there's a car in the pits. That's second? I thought second place was a BMW. I'm past one car, though. No position there, so... Are they going to pit on the last lap? Tires worn. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Can I blow a tire in this? I hope not. On the top of the hill, using every inch of the track. They're not in the pits this time by then. 
I don't know what happened. Out of fourth gear for the final corner. No. Oh, I lost just a little bit of time there. Oh, there's some cars in the pits on top of each other. So coming to the white flag. There's one more car in the pits there. So I think that's the second place. Oh, there's Dan. Come on. <laughs> I got one lap to chase him down. Oh, if I didn't hit the gravel there, I'd be even closer. Let's go. Around the top of the second turn. Oh my God, he's gonna be just right there. Might have to send it in the last corner. Just trying to get a good run out of here down the hill. I am closing up, but is it gonna be enough? I'm gonna be just a little too far back, I think, for the lunge. Uh, I had more than enough to temps there. It's just some of my bad running it off the track a few times. Oh, just gonna, just gonna be behind him coming to the flag. Second place finish, though. I did what I had to do. Oh, it's so close to the win. Yeah, I chasing him down but not able to get it second still get the silver cup though so but I think I would have won the championship right <clears throat> so I won't get as many credits for this race I hopefully get credits for the championship and we can move up move up a league but we'll see All right, let's see how it all stacks up here. All right, oh, -ho! so 5,000 for the uh, current race, 14 or 15,000 for the race bonus difficulty, um, the race length, 5,000, and then season finish, two, 200. I think I'm gonna be able to buy whatever car we wanna buy. <laughs> 200,000, uh, uh, seven, 9,000 there, another 9,000. And 242,000 total. Whoa, we got 314,000 credits winning the championship ahead of Dan Marvin. So two wins and a second place. There we go. Okay, so I don't even have to sell my Porsche. I could though, so that'd be another 70. So I have about 390,000 credits. We're gonna move up to the GT3 category. I could, I could technically move up to GT2. We're gonna do GT3 first. We'll, we'll win every way. So, what car should I get? The BMW, the Porsche, the, the Panos. I'm gonna leave you here for maybe two minutes. All right. And I wanna know which car, which car should I get? Maybe I can make a poll here, actually. All right, yeah, I can. So. So we'll do all right so remember there it's not just which car if you look at the prices um you know if i get a if i get the mustang i can get like a hundred thousand credits worth of upgrades keep that in mind as you pick your option here i'm gonna make a poll here on on youtube chat with all the options for my GT3 car. Can I tune the GTQ to GT3 spec? Could I just keep the Porsche 911 the whole time? Is that actually a thing you can do? I might, I don't, I don't know if that's actually a thing you can do. All right, so we got the Saline, the Mustang, 911 BMW, and the Panos. All right, so I'm gonna put the, uh... All right, so I'm gonna put the poll, I'm gonna step, step aside for like two minutes and then we'll take a look at which car, which car we're going with here. All right, so I'll be, I'll be right back.
All right, how's it looking? How is it looking? Let's see here. Yeah, only 95 voters. What what gives? What gives? All right, so what do we got? How do I see this thing? Okay, so definitely not racing the BMW. <laughs> definitely not racing the BMW, it looks like. But the 911, or the Panos, oh no! <laughs> the Panos Esperante, so what do I got to choose from? I think this is the worst car out of all of them. Oh no, I guess this is what I'm going with then, so... Pano, so I gotta I'm gonna choose the paint scheme. So you get to choose the car, but I'll choose I'll choose the paint scheme here. <clears throat> this is gonna be really tough now, so we're gonna have to really grind. But you know, everybody always loves to see uh see a struggle, right? So we got the two and the three and they, they look the same. Road Amer Road Atlanta painting. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, so that's all I get to pick from is those two lame. Oh no, it's even worse. All I have is this these two different road Atlanta <laughs> paint schemes. Oh, I'm gonna go with the number two because no, we gotta go with number three. Do it for Dale, right? So it's a Ford V8. I mean, it's got more horsepower than the Porsche. The BMW 386, so it's got the it's got the most horsepower. I just know it's slow. What's the saline at? Oh, the saline's got more. <laughs> yes, Danny. The Pano's in the butt. Yeah. All right. So I guess I'm gonna buy. Oh, this feels this feels wrong to do. Everything was going so well tonight. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got my GT3. Do I sell the, the Speed Vision GTQ Porsche 911 for parts? I feel, I'd feel bad if I had to sell it. Let's see how far I can get without selling my my starter car. Um, man, what do we what do we go with? What are the best things to upgrade? Get a computer chip to optimize our efficiency. Yeah, the saline is a better bang for buck, but everybody voted for the Panos, so... <laughs> Never sell. Ah, it's fun to do something that you wouldn't normally do. So I could get a second level turbocharger. Yeah, I probably want to reduce the weight, because if I look at the weight, right, the weight's 2867. Well, it's lighter. It's lighter than the BMW, but heavier than... The so, all in all, this should be a good car. It's got higher torque than the BMW. <laughs> I see a few votes for weight reduction. How far can I go with that? I could go all the way. <laughs> Upgrade it to the M3, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go full weight reduction. So, there's no questions there. I'm going to get... Grip, cornering, so nothing here about increasing the durability of the tires. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Is, is there a chip to change it to a Mustang? Yeah, I cut off a ton of weight on it, so it's gonna be good. Maybe I'll go with like the first step turbo as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I got I got a turbo, I've got weight reduction. <clears throat> Alright. So I can start a new season. In the GT3, we'll do low race length. I don't know if I'm gonna get through this whole season tonight, but um I'll do at least a couple of the races in it, depending on how long they are. Alright, new season. 
so we're going to Desert Speedway. Ooh, this is the Las Vegas ripoff track. How much are tires? 25, I can't. But after the first race, we can maybe upgrade the tires. All right, this season's got six races in it. We're going from Desert Speedway to Lime Rock, Sardian Park again, Road Atlanta, Chatham, and Laguna Seca. So it's a good championship. Um, I'll at least do the first couple here. Yeah, I can sell the Porsche for a... Should I sell... Should I sell the Porsche? <laughs> No, I got the GT3 Panos. Now I'm gonna do the, well, we'll do the first event like this. If things seem really dire, we've got f uh, six races this time to try to sort it out. So if, if things seem really dire, we'll sell the uh, 911 and we'll, we'll, we'll fix everything. But we'll go out and do a practice real quick at the desert, desert speedway. All right. So this is 100% uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway <laughs> road course. See how the new Panos feels. It should feel faster than the uh, 911. Yeah, but it's this this tracks 100% Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Oh, really tight left-hander. I remember this track. I don't think I've raced here since 1998. I feel like the races here are at nighttime usually. Yeah, no, it got, it's not Las Vegas, it's Desert Speedway, okay? Oh no! Oh, movable cones, would you look at those physics? <laughs> It's stuck on the windshield there for a minute. I don't know if Vegas, I think Vegas has a road course because they do, um, you can go like rent Ferraris there. What was that chicane on the front straightaway? Whoa, whoa, did you see the bollards? I'm just running over everything here. The bollards actually moved when you hit them. The physics at work. All right, there's cones everywhere. This is like a parking lot track. This is really representative of American motorsport in the 90s. Racing through parking lots with cones. We're doing autocross today, boys. <laughs> the cone was huge. It looks They look proportional sitting out there, but if they get close to you, they look really big. Gotta get a good exit here. Avoid our cone friend there. But I gotta see what's going on with the front straightaway here. I don't know why there's cones in the middle of it. Oh man, you reached the top of the rev range quickly with this thing. What? So I guess we have to go on the apron is the deal? Seems weird. Oh, 911 right out of the pits behind me. Get our first comparison here of how quick I am compared to the other cars. He's all over the rear end. I just want to do a couple laps here. I've, I've literally not raced at this track in over 25 years, so I've got to remember the way the way it goes. Yeah, final gear. Maybe I can. I'll adjust that because I'm definitely losing speed going into final gear. Look at that! Cut the apex. Fuck the inside of our cone. So I guess I just have to take the apron here as we go past the start finish line. And I, I can go back up on the Bay King cheater line. And I straight cut that chicane. That's the that's the way to do it. Try that one more time. Cones appear a little too late. Oh, slide it around the corners. Do a little drift practice here. Yeah, you can totally go to Las Vegas Motor Speedway in real life, although this is not Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Uh, 
Desert Motor Speedway, but you go to Las Vegas Motor Speedway in real life and you can rent cars. I think they let you rent Ferraris if you want. And uh, I've seen, I think somebody crashed a Ferrari Enzo there, like a celebrity did. All right, I just want to try this first corner one more time now that I know the cheater line. Shift it down one gear. Okay, well, that's maybe a little, a little aggressive. I don't know, do you get course cut penalties in this? Oh no! Uh-oh. I hope that doesn't cost me money. But now I know not to do that during the race. Okay, we'll go qualified. I think I think the practicing crash is a is a do-over. So luckily it didn't count. All right, so we'll go out, go out and do the qualifying. Should have two laps here. And I still can't go. Yeah, I still can't go down with the fuel, unfortunately. Oh, it cost me money to fix the cars. Uh oh, will I get, will I get charged after the race? Maybe. All right, got to try to not damage the car. I haven't seen any damage back yet or damage payments yet. Also, the car totally doesn't go to the red line. It goes to like 6,000 RPMs. That's why I keep over revving it. <laughs> this generic cockpit is getting me. This cockpit is bad because it doesn't even, it doesn't go with any of the cars at all. Of the lap. Oh, just nip the inside. All right, we'll start the first of the qualifying laps. I think I'm put together something solid. I barely know the track at this point. Over rev it, bounce off the rev limiter, come to the line, take that low line through the first corner. Try not to egregiously cut the first chicane, just get it through there. That's still pretty quick, I think. Yeah. Sixth gear, fifth gear is terrible on this. I'll fix that after this qualifying. I should have fixed it before. Oh no! All right, this first lap's gonna be no good. First through third isn't too bad. This car doesn't feel <laughs> very quick at all, though. There we go. It was a solid end to the lap. Come out of the final corner. Get onto the NASCAR speedway. Fifth gear. Bogging down. We'll do another lap. It's 56.09. Oh, a little fast there into the first chicane. Just run right over all the bollards. No issue. Fifth gear just bogs down. A good couple final corners here. This lap should be better than the last one. Down a third gear. Oh, just right to the edge of the track. <laughs> Bouncing up the rev limiter again. It hits the rev limiter so quick. Kind of rev it out, but we'll come to the line, take the low line. So 54 7. So I improved, but oh no, it's ninth place. We're going to be such a dog in this car. Should I already go with an upgrade? I feel like I need to sell the 911 and get some more upgrades. <laughs> yeah, weight reduction was a good call. Can you imagine if it had all the all the weight? But I can upgrade here mid mid session, so I'm totally gonna sell this 911. Goodbye, sweet sweet Speed Vision 911. Um, man, what else do I need? I could go with the next turbocharger, but then that first one was kind of a waste of money. So maybe I'll get a tire upgrade. Hmm. We arguing about Indianapolis 2005? Why? 
<laughs> what does that have to do with anything? All right, I'm gonna get level one tires. And there's so many. Brakes seem fine. Increased power. Oh, the exhaust is cheap. Well, let's wait and see what else we got. Manifold and headers. Everything increases power and in oh, this one increases efficiency. Yeah, everything about this car seems crappy. Computer chip optimizes engine efficiency. Clutch and inertia gives a higher. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with this uh, increased efficiency so that we get better fuel. All right, and we'll, we'll stay there to start. Um, I do wanna go to the garage. We'll take a look at the drivetrain. Fifth gear is way too tall. I thought for a second I couldn't go up. Um, how high do I go? I have no idea. There's no chart. <laughs> uh, you really kind of cheat with the charts and graphs in the... Uh, Thank you, yes, Josh, the bassist. Gearbox. Um, you can kind of cheat in the other sims with the graph it gives you on what your top speed's going to be. I missed that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave it at an 874, and hopefully that... Not too short. It, the worst thing would be if it's too short. All right, we'll go to the race. So it's a 12-minute race. It's not a major race, but it would be good to start off the championship well, and I'm starting towards the back of the pack. I'm going to be starting, oh, right in the middle. So ninth place. So we're not totally off the pace. We'll go, I'm going to go with the 875 just to be sure that I'm not going to be too short. And if we can go higher, we will. But, all right, away we go. Looks like we're going to have a rolling start for some reason. Lights are lit. Green. Oh, that was probably my best start yet, but still terrible. We'll funnel down towards the first corner. Cones already flying. Oh, it's a lot faster. No! Oh, no. I got damaged there. I slammed into that Porsche who just stopped on the track. <laughs> oh, these two in front. Gonna hit them as well. This, this is gonna be such a brutal race. Going down to the hairpin. Second gear on the inside. What was that in my mirror? There's smoke everywhere. All right, it's all happening here in the GT3. I almost get spun out by this BMW. Come around the outside of him. Oh, come up the inside. Just ride that curb. You got a lot of extra space there. I think that might not actually be dirt on the inside. We'll see. Maybe I can use that. Cheat a little bit. Got the image space BMW behind me. <laughs> this is pretty wild so far. I'm only in 11th. Oh no! <laughs> I got dumped! I got dumped by the BMW! Oh, he spun out as well, so... It serves you right. Oh no, we're all the way at the back with our other Pano's friend. I don't even think the Eurobeat can save me now. Oh, we got a pile up up here! <laughs> the smoke is, like, so big! That can't be... Maybe that's a weird graphical bug that I have. I think this this area to my right isn't dirt, so I'm gonna test that out. Cause if I can get a little bit of an advantage here, that could be helpful. Oh yeah, that's that is totally not dirt. Yeah, that BMW just rode me the whole first lap. Well, we're in damage control. Can I even get up to the points? Is really the question. Oh yeah, there's cones across the middle of the track, of course. That was good. Do you see that? That's how you get through that chicane. Oh, I've got so much speed on him. And I could definitely have gone a little shorter in fifth gear, but it is better. It's better than it was. Look at these guys. Oh my god. They're all just clobbering into each other. Come on. Let's see if I can get by him somehow. Right on the back, the 68. It's not cheating, it's bending the rules. See, we can just scoot there. There's no problems. Nobody saw it. I'm actually helping because I'm not going to be a wreck. I'm not going to be a crash. All right. 
see if I can get this chicane again. Oh, my God. That was a little much. But I got through it. We got the 911s right behind me. All oh, the cars are brutal on this track. They just want me. Uh oh, something's happening to the music. <laughs> Did you hear that? Maybe the Eurobeat finally died. Hopefully I still have you all. Oh, I almost hit the wall on the inside. Saved it. Closed up on these two. I'm in ninth place right now. I think it's only the top six that paid points, so... We've got eight minutes to go. Yeah, if the game doesn't penalize you, it's not cheating. That's right, SK. You know what's up. Oh, we got slowed down there. I'm real fast. <laughs> that was fine. You didn't see anything. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Oh my god. Oh, he took the inside line. Well, you can't blame the AI for trying. They don't just lay back in this sim. Actually try to pass you. We'll pass our teammate here. So at least I'm going to beat my teammate. I'll take the proper line. There we go. Yeah, I thought I was going to hit that wall. That wouldn't have been good. Up to seventh now, so... I can see a car up there. I've got seven minutes to try to catch him. Oh no! <laughs> I took the regular oval line. That's what I get for reading the chat. This is just a uh, the wild race at Desert Desert Speedway. Not a real place, so you don't have to worry. It may look like somewhere you know, but it's absolutely not that place. Sliding out wide through the double right-hander. Got a whole line of cars in front, though, so this is good. If I can catch them, maybe I can pass the lot. Make a run late in the race. This actually is a fun track. I like Rovals a lot. I mean, I think Daytona International Speedway's Roval is, is one of the best tracks one of the best road tracks in the world. I mean, it's it's definitely different. I thought that was going to be a penalty. Um, you know, I, I love a natural road course as well, but having the high-speed oval, especially in an endurance race there, that makes it a lot easier in a way because you get a chance to break, a chance to rest. But the high banks, it's just something cool about flying around the high banks in a sports car side by side and then diving into the infield, going through a technical section. I just think it's got a lot to offer. All right, I've caught up to a Porsche and catching up to this whole group of cars. So put together some good stuff here. Maybe get by all of them. Got five minutes left to do it. The flames coming out the back of the 911 there. They definitely have, it's my fifth gear is what's ruining it right now, but I'm quicker through all the twisty stuff in our Pano's. There we go. Nice little chicane, get around the outside of him, pinch him down, he's not going to be able to accelerate. He's able to get the position, at least so far, he's going to come back on me up here. Ooh, don't take me out. I'm so used to AI slamming into the back of me in some of the other games, they don't seem to do that here, which is nice. Alright, back on the saline now, we got a saline and a BMW in front. Root back down into third for a second. It's sequential. It can do that easily. <laughs> totally not cheating right there. Yeah, Homestead's a great roval. New Hampshire Motor Speedway, I'm not biased at all, but that's a really good roval. All right. So I'm up to fifth with four minutes. So this has gone from being a terrible race to being semi-okay. I'm luckily getting away with all the questionable runoffs. Well, the saline's got a little bit more power here as we'll come down to the hairpin. See if I can throw it up the inside. 
Park it on the apex. Oh, he sticks there on the outside. <laughs> Squeeze him a little bit. It's good. We're good. Pass another car. I'm going to be up to second place in a second. Already up to third. Where's the leader, though? Oh, just run into the back of the BMW here. Oh, I hit that inside wall just a little bit. This race is kind of mayhem. It's a lot of fun. Only got three minutes left. Oh, I was worried that other image space BMW was going to take me out, but luckily I was able to get him. Swing up the outside here of the BMW. See another Beamer up there, a whole bunch of cars. So maybe the leader will get caught in lap traffic. Swing to the inside. Oh, he's gonna try the over under on me. Able to get him though, I'm up to second. Got three minutes to go. How big is the gap? I think it's pretty big. But all in all, man, from Hatteras at the start to second place, if I can hold on to this. Never give up. Yeah, Texas World Speedway had a good roval as well. I like the ones like Texas, like New Hampshire, that go in and outside the oval. I think Michigan has one like that, too. It's got a new course record. No big deal. <laughs> oh, too bad I hit the grass there. That was a really fast line. Coming out of two minutes to go, though. Other Panos hopefully let me by. I know he's going to do the over-under, of course. Come on. Oh, we bump. Hit the cone. We're good. Able to get around him. I kind of forget that this is a sim, so... Oh, I got low fuel. Okay, we should be able to make it, but I wasn't even thinking about that. I forget that this is a sim so that... You know, the AI aren't going to randomly slow uh, slow down or speed up or anything to make it competitive. We've got a whole bunch of smoke there. Come across the line. Hit all the bollards through the chicane. That chicane is crazy. I wonder if... I've never actually looked at the Texas or the uh, Las Vegas Roval. I wonder if it's anything like this. bunch of smoke there for some reason the smoke's like ballooning to be huge and i don't think that's how it was i think it might be a kind of a bug with how i'm running the game i'm using dg voodoo to run the game which is a a renderer to make it run better on a modern computer all right so white flag one more lap yeah i gotta have more faith in the panos you're right oh no whoa i thought i was gonna hit that wall Car did not slow down that time. Luckily, staying away from it. I have no idea how close I am to the leader. It's probably better that I don't. If he's one of these three cars up front, I'm going to be annoyed. Nice long drift there just to wear out the tires. Make sure I get my money's worth through the chicane. Come to the end of the lap. I think the leader might be one of these three cars, but just out of reach. A couple more laps, of course, as always, would be up there. But wow, the grip has totally fallen off the car right on the last lap or so. But luckily, the race coming to an end. So <laughs> there and back again from mid pack to the back of the pack, back up to the front. Oh, pretty, uh, pretty entertaining race, at least to drive. Pretty cool track. I like that one. Yeah, it must be something with the DG Voodoo. I was trying to run the game on Direct 3D, um, but no dice. Couldn't get it to load, so I'm playing on 3DFX mode. All right, but finishing second to Daryl Havens. Bill Oberlin. <laughs> 
That's not actually how you spell his name, right? Bill Oberlin behind in third. So, all in all, very, very happy with that. Yeah, I think we'll invest in the car a little bit. It's a long enough championship that I don't... I don't want to have to save every bit of money. But I've got seven points to the 11 up front. Maybe I'll buy one upgrade here. We'll see. What do we want? Well, the clutch doesn't say anything about a shifting better. It just says it's going to gives higher efficiency, transfer more power. It doesn't, I mean, it, theoretically, you would imagine it would make the shifting better, but I don't see anything. Oh, gearbox. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we definitely need this. Gives us six gears and we can adjust final drive ratios. I got to get this, right? Yeah, so the music I'm playing is um, is the PlayStation music. I don't know why this version of the game I have doesn't actually have music. So I'm just playing the PlayStation music. I think it's very similar to, uh, to this. But I got the gearbox upgrade. Should I go for the next? No, I can't do the next turbocharger. Aerodynamics and everything seemed fine. We can do the brakes ourselves. I'll, I'll save the money. I'll save the money. Uh, I will go to the garage and see if we can tweak. I got six gears now, so I might I might have to go out and do some practice just see how it is before. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll do some practice here and see how it is before we adjust anything. We're at Lime Rock Park for a 20 minute. And I think this is going to be the last one I do tonight, um, but this should be good. 20 minutes. It's the first real track i mean we did just go to uh desert oh no all right give it a minute here that wasn't good the game crashed hopefully we can get it to load Ooh. that's what i was worried about all night that the game was gonna not work. If this doesn't work, I will try one other thing. Hopefully it kept my progress. It did, thankfully. Go to practice. Does it work? Whew. Okay, it worked. I was playing around with, uh, in DG Voodoo, you can change the fake amount of memory uh, and and RAM and everything that you're, you're emulating. So I was going to try to play with that, but it looks like it worked. All right, so we'll do a few practice laps here. This is Lime Rock Park. So you get your first look with this at how accurate the real tracks are. And okay, it's 1998. They're going off of probably just race video, maybe some in car, but it's it's come a long way. Let's just say <laughs> it's definitely, you know, it's got the right and left handers the way it is at Lime Rock, but everything else about it's uh, nowhere close. So you got to kind of learn it like it's a track you've never been to before. We'll come down to the right-hander here. It's before the chicanes or anything. Run it wide over the hill. Of course, no chicane here either. It's just the fast version of the track. About 20 minutes around here. We're going to catch a bunch of lap traffic. We'll have to pit for sure. Oh, six gear is useless. <laughs> I don't know if I need six gears, but we'll see how fifth is down the front straight away. My fuel saving gear is sixth. Yeah, I'm glad the game still works at all. Ugh, run off into the dirt. Um, it is a little te temperamental as you just saw. I tried to load the track and it didn't work. And then I just restarted the game and it worked fine. So it's maybe a memory leak or something. fifth gear here over the top of the hill. See how far I can get on fifth on the front straightaway. Yeah, it's not a bad lime rock. I mean, you know where you are. Oh, just at the end, hitting the rev. I don't know. Do I try to get sixth gear in the mix? I guess I should. I have it, right? It's hard to do gear changes without a graph, though.
Fifth gear is kind of useless here, too. Hearing in this car is so bad. <laughs> Goes all the way down to 4,000 RPM in fourth. All right, I got to adjust that. That's not going to work for us. All right, so if we go to the garage, really invest in our setups here. Sixth is at 598. What are we doing? Okay, so fifth is even a little tall. So we're going to go to nine with fifth, 904, and then, gosh. We'll go way up. <laughs> That's as far as we can go. Let's see what that's like. 694 still seems awful high, but we'll see. Do some more practice. Hey, it loaded twice in a row. Yeah, I honestly, I prefer, I mean, no surprise, prefer the chicaneless layouts to most tracks. Alton Park is a good one where it's like that track with chicanes is one of my least favorite tracks. That track without chicanes at Olton Park is like such an amazing track. Some of the some of the chicanes, I know why they're there. It's but in a sim you don't need them, and that's that's the thing. I don't get why in the Sims we're always racing the versions with the chicane. I mean, if I'm simulating like an actual season, okay, I'll do the do the ones with the chicanes or whatever they actually race. But if you're just having fun, like why not run the best layouts of all the tracks? So, that's my opinion, in case you asked for it. Ooh! Oh, just flirting with disaster at the top of the hill. Uh, the gearing is slightly better. It's still terrible. Oh, man. What do I got to do? Change the final drive of it? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get sixth close enough to fifth for it to do anything. The gearing is already super tall, too. I'm in fourth gear for most of the lap, and I go to fifth and sixth for a second. I think I just kind of have to deal with it. I think I might be able to get that flat. Six gear is terrible. I, I can't shorten it any further though. And if I change the whole stack, then I'm barely gonna use fourth. I guess I could lengthen, uh, I don't know. I could lengthen fifth maybe. Yeah, I think for Spa, the layout they have now with the, the way the chicane is at the end of the lap is probably the best it's ever been. That's probably why it stayed there for so long. I, I really don't like the early 2000s version like I just did with GT Racing 2002. Like the version that was there until 2004, not my favorite. Oh, look at how bad this is. All right, what am I gonna do with the gearing? Yeah, I guess I guess I need a new final drive. You're right, but the gear ratios are so weird. It doesn't seem like I can get fourth, uh, fifth, and sixth close together. I guess if I raise, all right. So final drive. Or which way do I, I want to go? Shorter, right? No, that's longer. So we'll go to like three fifty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do any of this without a graph. Um, and then if I, maybe I can lengthen fifth gear again so that the jump from fifth to sixth isn't so, so great. I'll go back down to like eight and then maybe I'll lengthen fourth a little bit. I don't know who dark side Phil is, but I hope he's a nice person or they're a nice person, whoever it is. And I hope that's a compliment. 
Um, all right, we'll go to we'll do third. I don't think we'll need second or first here. It's a fast track. Hopefully this is nice. I'm gonna do just a couple more practice laps. I'd like to get to the race at some point. Doesn't look like you can save setups, so remember what you put in. What time is it in Germany right now? It must be like five in the morning. All right, the shift from third to fourth wasn't terrible. The fourth suddenly seems too high for most of this. So we got a second place in the first round of this championship, so we're, we're like really in it. It's a fifth gear, kind of weird, but it seems this already seems better overall. I bet I won't even need sixth gear, maybe in a slipstream. the dirt there all right this feels okay <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't feel like the best gearing ever a little a little bit low in fifth gear here but I'm worried about sixth being useless I'm gonna shift up to it just to see oh it's not terrible all right we're gonna go with this it's going to be what it is. We'll do some qualifying. Thanks everybody for being here. This was kind of done on a whim tonight, but it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> this game is a lot of fun. Definitely recommend Sports Car GT. If you can get it working, it's a little temperamental, but otherwise it is fun. All right, so we'll do our two laps qualifying. Hopefully have a good quality, but as we saw in the last race, maybe it doesn't matter <laughs> where I qualify. out of the pits though do our out lap i like the way the qualifying is in this i i have to imagine in 2000 or in 1998 the qualifying was not single car qualifying <laughs> for sports cars it must have been a timed session uh, but it's nice that there is qualifying Still missing the apex there. Light up the tires just from turning. Nice and easy through the right hander at the top of the hill. Keep it in fifth gear the whole way. A little low, but we can pretty much just use fifth gear. Most of the lap will do third through the first few corners. Come across the line, start the quality lap. Down to third gear for the first couple of corners. Little slow mid apex there. Come through the left there. Left hander. Keep it in fourth. Try not to run wide onto the dirt there. Now, through the valley here. There we go. Just clipped the apex coming up the hill. It was much better this time. I could have run it wider though. At the top of the hill, missed the curb a little bit on the inside. Oh, just touched the outside. That lost me a bunch of time. Uh, that was almost a good lap. We got one more try at it. This wasn't the worst lap in the world, but I killed the momentum there right at the end. Come across the line, though. Start the final lap. The 46 8. Bit in fourth, just a little bit longer here. Down to third. Oh, I got to slide wide. Oh, terrible. First corner. I tried to keep it in fourth a little bit longer there to avoid slowing down prematurely and it did not work out for me. But I have a feeling this lap will be much worse than the first one. Let's see what I can do here for the end of the lap though. Nearly flat out there through the hill. A little air over the top. Just a breath of the throttle around that right-hander now down the hill. 
Trying to plot the line right. We'll come to the line. Yeah, worse on the second lap. That was not a good qualifying session. <laughs> you can see the uh, LOD change there. It's not very kind. But I got the pull. All right. By a, by a half a second. The upgrades, the gearing, it's all paying off. <laughs> we got a, what do we got, like three different RJs in the chat? RJ Knight here at GP Laps. Okay, well, things are looking up. So we gotta do 20 minutes. Wow, on the short distance is a 20 minute race. A 20 minutes at Lime Rock um, in the Panos. Hopefully I can make it 10 minutes on the fuel and we'll just pit once. And I got plenty of time in this one, so no need to do anything too wild. Want to try to preserve the car this time. Yeah, it was a terrible qualifying, but I was able to uh, get to the front. So we'll start in front of the field of 16. You know what's going to happen. Oh, we got a GTQ car in here. So I guess you can enter the GT3 championship with a D GTQ car. So I wonder if I upgraded the car enough, if it would be quick enough to compete here. <laughs> you hope it rains and I win? Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll get started with this 20 minutes at Lime Rock Park. Hopefully everything loads. Nope. Oh my God. Cross your fingers it works the second time. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't lose any of the progress. I don't know how often it saves. Ugh. Okay, it did save the qualifying. But I don't... I'm scared. Oh, it did load. Thank God. All right. Here we are on the grid. Lights are lighting. Oh, I pulled it right as it went green. A little late on shift to the second. That was my best start yet, though. I still lost two spots, though. Come down to the first corner. Hanging around the outside. I got plenty of time here, so don't do anything too dramatic. Ooh. There we go. All right. I was able to get through the first few corners. Stuck behind this BMW, who's a little quick. But I was a little quicker through the twisty stuff, so don't panic just yet. He runs way out wide on the runoff. Ugh. That's what I get for looking at chat. Run over the top of the hill. Oh, he's mighty quick in a straight line. But he had to dab the brakes there a little bit in the final corner. So come across the line after the first lap. Firmly in second position. Leader running away just a little bit. See what I can do to catch him. Gotta be nice to everything on the car. There we go, close right up. So I think I'm gonna be a lot quicker through this part of the track. Come to the inside, take the lead away. There we go, that's a pass. Nice clean pass too for once. Now we're back on the straight stuff. So he's gonna be all over my rear end here. Pretty fast there through the uphill, just a little bit of a lift. Dab of the brakes coming to the right hander. Car's full of fuel. Oh, but pulling away. All right. Now we got to settle in and just clean laps for the next 18 minutes and 23 seconds. Got to over rev on the downshifts there into turn one. A little bit wide through the left hander. We'll come up to this kink. Straighten it out. Pulling away. All right. So I think I've got the field covered. They're on max difficulty right now, too. So at least for now in our pay nose here, it was not as bad of a decision. I mean, looking at the specs of the car, they're pretty good. It's kind of right in the middle. I think the 911 might have been the best car, but... Yeah, what can go wrong, Dom? Just, I gotta do laps for 18 minutes. Totally. Don't watch my IndyCar 2 stream from this weekend. Everything went perfectly in that race.
Ah, oh, it just handles so nicely. You know, the gearing is still terrible, but otherwise, the car actually feels pretty good. It's very planted. It's not as... The, the 911 I had with the GTQ series was all over the place, like a boat. This car does not have that handling characteristic. Yeah, we can upgrade. I mean, I don't need it. I don't know if I need a suspension upgrade. I think I just need more power or something. Set a course record. Things are going well. So the question is going to be, when do I pit and do I take tires? I think I got to take tires because I was wearing out tires in the other races after 12 minutes. Oh, a little bit fast there. That's no good. Don't need to be doing that. He's <laughs> the Lotus. There we go. Just clip the curbing to the outside. Yeah, all in all, I mean, obviously we've come a long way with tracks, but, uh, you know, I definitely know I'm at Lime Rock, and for 1998, I mean, you'd, you'd see this on TV and then be amazed that you could go do it, just the way you feel today. The way you feel today when you boot up, you know, ACC or iRacing or whatever your sim of choice is, that's how we all felt when we were playing this in 1998. You just don't know better, and I guarantee you, in 20, 30 years, we'll look back at the Sims of today, and there will be some way, maybe it won't be graphically, but there'll be some way where they look so archaic, feel so archaic, or whatever it's going to be. They'll just, you know, progress never stops. Oh, now everybody's talking about reliability. Don't get me scared. I don't know how the breakdowns work in this. I'm be trying to be gentle with the old Panos. We'll even just keep it in fourth gear here, just nice and gentle through all the turns, right up to the edge of the dirt, no stress. <laughs> it is not to be doubted. All right, we're already... 14 minutes to go, so we're four minutes into it. I'm already down to 50% fuel, so probably pit right around 10, get new tires and everything, and just ride it to the end. We'll just pit halfway and fill her up, get four tires, and away we'll go. Starting to come up to lap traffic already. You know, I'm ashamed to admit I've not been to Lime Rock, and I live, right now I live, about two hours away from it. So I, I should absolutely go. They're having a classic event there this coming weekend, and I, I can't make it, unfortunately. But I've got a plan to go there, because I just never have been... I mean, if we're talking Panos, the Esperante, that's the one we want, right? to this 911 here. I think this is the GTQ 911 at the back. Let's see if I can get it up the inside here as we'll come up to the right-hander. Oh, he hit me! Come on now. We don't need to be doing that. Is this an Esperante? What's the one I'm thinking about? The one that raced in GT1? In like 1997, 98? Around this time. I think it's in this game. The one that raced in uh, GT1. Yeah, I know the prototype as well, which is a cool car, but... I don't think we need any more people on YouTube trying to get all the gold licenses. 
I did think about doing the GTR 2 license school, though. What would y'all think of that? Be a different day. I never actually, I don't think I ever actually did that. Is it, is it called the Panos GTR one? <laughs> that would make sense. I always thought that was the Esperante. All right, everything's working out. So we're right at about 11 and a half minutes to go. So maybe in a couple laps, we'll come into the pits. We'll get our four tires and fuel. Ooh, we got a little smoke. <laughs> it just, it just balloons. Okay, Esperante GTR1. That makes sense. They're all the Esperantes. All right, we got this 911 in front of me. I'll just give it an extra minute. He fades out wide. I should take the inside nice and easily. Cuts to the inside. No sweat there. All right, so we got about 10 minutes, 45. I'll go one more lap after this and then we'll pit. I'll remember to hit done this time on the pit menu. Low fuel, yeah. We'll go one more lap though, just make it over halfway. We've got 10 and a half minutes on the clock. <laughs> We're slower in a straight line than this 911. Who's all the way back in like 10th place. Oh, he cuts in front of me. There we go, I'll sneak underneath him. The second half of turn one, there we go. All right, so I'll pit this time. Hopefully everybody else gets tires as well, but I feel like I'll need them in a race of this length. They must scale the fuel and the tires and everything in this. They'll come over crest there. Got the track figured out at this point. Come around the top of the hill. We'll look for that pit lane entrance. No speeding or anything, nothing dramatic here. load it all down all right so we're gonna change the tires we're gonna get full fuel we don't need full fuel but we'll, we'll take we'll take it yeah I got a huge gap to second place it's a 12 second pit stop all right boy we go Come on boys filling it up I'm gonna lose first but it's not the end of the world they're gonna have to pit as well here we go, out of the pits, in second place. All I gotta pass is one car when they take their pit stop. So eight and a half minutes to go. The car's a little heavier now. It's cool that you can really feel the difference with a full tank. You know, it's just not something to look over in a sim from a couple cars here. I think that BMW in front of the Porsche here, that might be the leader. I think it is the leader. Yeah, the car between us is in 15th. So, as soon as he dip, dips into the pits, we're gonna have a very big lead. And there he goes into the pits. Porsche 911 as well. Should be able to take the lead here then. Car coming out of the pits ahead. Gonna come down to turn number one. Get it down, fourth gear. Coast it on through, so just seven minutes to go. Catching our teammate now. Oh, 
runs so wide up the hill. Must be wondering what's different about my, my car. I just need to be careful to see if they're gonna go into the pits and everything. No, he stays out. Bunch of cars in the pits there. So I've got a huge lead on second place at this point. Oh, a car came out of the pits there right behind me. So I can dip it up the inside of my teammate here through the second turn or end of the first turn there. All right, just six minutes left then, so... Knock on wood, everything has gone perfectly so far. <laughs> Besides the start, but that was my best start yet, so... Around the final corner, are on the inside, just right around him. Another Pano is going in the pits. Chase these two lapped cars. Boy, hit up the hill. Got a saline and a BMW here. Give him a second. I got plenty of time. I don't need to force the issue. I think everybody's done pitting, so I just got to find my way around them. Seems like turn one has worked really well for this. Break a little late. Ooh, cuts to the inside. On the back of the saline. See if I can slot up at least past the BMW. There we go. Oh, it's the image space BMW. Oh, the saline turns in. No. Oh, he spins me out. It was going so perfectly. All right. I should have a big enough gap, though. Should have a big enough gap. Yeah, I've got plenty of time before a second, but oh, man. That BMW. It's the same one. Oh, wait. Was it the... No, it was the BMW. <laughs> it's got four minutes left. Can't do that again. Still have like a quarter of a lap lead on second though. So do these races just get really long towards the top series or what's the deal? I'm on max difficulty here. This 9-11. Oh, he hits me there. They, I just turn in on you. Even if you're completely side by side with them, they just, they don't care <laughs> that you're there. That keeps it exciting, but we're good. Everything's good. Was it the sailing that time? We just got three minutes to go though, so really don't need to do anything. Just keep going a nice pace here. Got our teammate right in front. Uh, I want to pass to the inside there, but I know he's just going to turn in on me. Got to accelerate out well. This is the one car I actually catch in a straight line. A little space to rejoin the track there. Get around the teammate one more time. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine if I used one of the faster cars? <laughs> It'd be even easier. I don't know. Maybe the Panos here is good. I just thought it was bad. Certainly by the the stats of it, it didn't seem bad. It weighed just about the same as the other cars, had as much horsepower. So, I don't know why it has the bad rep. 
It's a good car. All right, come to the top of the hill, <laughs> right on the edge of the track. Under two minutes to go. Past the pits, we got two more cars in front. I'll probably catch before the end here. But not many laps. Ooh, we got a car coming out of the pits there. Another Pinos. All right, catching these two hooligans again. I so badly want to throw it up the inside. But I will wait. Gotta get a good exit. They just pull away from me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass them in a corner, but I don't know how I do that without hitting. Oh, they're slow up the hill. Honestly, I could just ro ride behind them, but there's no fun in that. Right in the slipstream now. Under a minute to go, but we didn't get the white flag there, so we'll have to do another lap after this. Oh my god, these two. Oh, on the inside. I gotta try to do it here. Oh my god, no, he hit me again. <laughs> I can't get past that BMW. Well, I guess I'm not going to. I got plenty big of a gap back to second, but he clearly doesn't want me to lap him. So we'll come around top of the hill. Should get the white flag this time. Hear the Euro beat kicking in. Come to the line here. White flag, one more. Of course, I'm going to catch these two right at the end of the lap. But there's going to be nowhere to get around. Oh, it fades out wide. Maybe get up the inside. I don't want to do anything like this coming in the final corners. He slides in behind me. There we go. I'm just coming to the Saline Mustang, though, but yeah. All right, 20 minutes at Lime Rock. Not too bad overall. Pretty easy, actually, compared to the other races. Come to the line and win in the Pinos. So, yeah. Oh, and he hit me there, too. He hit me after the checkered. So he hit me, spun me out at Desert Raceway, Desert Speedway, and now also at Lime Rock, even though I got the win. See these other guys finishing, but. So I think the Panos is gonna be just fine to win the whole thing, especially if the races are uh, that long. We'll have to see what the others are. All right, we'll come back in and we'll take a look. So, whoa, I won 60,000 credits for that. Not too bad. 60,000 credits, difficulty. I got 36,000 for the difficulty, so really maximizing. I guess we could pump up the race length, but... So leading the championship only by two points, despite a first and second place finish, but we're two points ahead of the number 22 Porsche 911 from Daryl Heavens. Havens. So we're going to have another race at Sardian Park coming up. It's only a 10 minute race. Um, we'll have Road Atlanta. I guess I can't see how long each of these is going to be. Road Atlanta, then Chatham, and then Laguna Seca. But so far, a good start to our GT3. <laughs> Bring Richie Axelson back. Yeah. He's still around. Don't worry. But a good start to our uh, GT3 championship. So I'm going to cut it off here tonight, but hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Some fun uh, sports car GT. Really one of the first GT racing games, but a, a good one for sure. I'll definitely come back to this at some point, at least finish this GT3 championship and see what happens from here. Because I don't think I ever got past the GT3 championship 
back in the day. I think I just cheated and un unlocked everything and then did random races on add-on tracks and everything. But appreciate everybody uh, coming to this random, random stream. Hopefully it was fun. And uh, I know I'll be doing more stuff soon. So appreciate everybody watching. But thank you. Have a good rest of your day, evening, night. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.